So Corey Kenshin finally ended up hitting 10 million subscribers. Just recently, actually, I think it was about last night that he hit it. But first, I have a couple of things to address. The first being the success on the first Corey Kenshin video that I ever made that now has 176,000 views. Thank you guys so much. I got to speak with a lot of you guys throughout the comments of that video, and that video now is the top video on my channel. So once again, thank you for the support. Now, I will admit that it is sad to see Corey go, but if you notice, he hasn't really posted anything about hitting 10 million yet now this could raise some questions especially ones that i had like one being is he ever going to make a goodbye video or was the 9 million video a goodbye video it would just kind of seem weird if he just quit outright without addressing his audience first now all this just kind of makes me think is this really the end i don't want to be the one to just you know come out with a theory or with an actual answer because you know i don't have the answers you know, I see a lot of people on Reddit and in the comments of Twitter just posting their goodbyes and, you know, I'll miss you, you're my favorite YouTuber, things like that. And, you know, there's just one part of me that kind of thinks that Corey's just going to come out of nowhere and be like, psych, you thought, you know what I'm saying? I mean, because really when I think about it, all the cards are really set up, especially for it to play out like that. I don't know, maybe Corey had this plan from the beginning when he first hit that 7 million subscriber threshold and was like, you know what, I'm gonna play the ultimate prank on my fans and say I'm retiring at 10 million. If you guys don't know what I'm actually talking about and if you're new to Corey Kenshin, in his 7 million subscriber video, he said that at 10 million he would end up retiring. So I'll play that clip for you right here if you don't know what it is. 4 million until we get 10 million and get that diamond play button i guess now is as good as time as any when we reach 10 million if we reach 10 million i will be announcing my retirement from youtube that's right guys i think one of the more exciting parts about this whole situation is not only seeing how far Corey has come you know because if you look at the older videos of him in his room with a perm you know doing those skits and everything if you look at those videos and you see how far he's come in just about 10 years it's like time flies and we never even noticed it but the more exciting part about this whole situation is it's probably getting to see what happens to the fan base of Corey kenshin or who's going to be the next Corey kenshin himself now it is sad to see him go if he is going altogether but as things on the internet tend to do they die off now it's too early for Corey Kenshin to even die off right now heck he just hit 10 million subscribers I see him hitting 10.5 in the next couple of months but sooner or later it's going to start to die off if he actually is quitting or maybe I'm wrong and Corey's fan base will forever be loyal to him even though he's not uploading even though he's not uploading and we'll still be re-watching those spooky scary Sundays so now that we got that out of the way I wanted to read some comments from a community post that I posted yesterday about Corey hitting 10 million subscribers Dinith Waragoda says I know she'd be happy for him but at the same time I feel bad because he might retire look I feel the exact same way a lot of you guys probably do remember from the first Corey Kenshin video in the comments and if I did respond to you in this way how I was talking about the spooky scary Sundays being my favorite thing so, you know, when I think of that and the fact that that may never happen again, it does make me sad personally. You know, when I first discovered Corey, it was off of a spooky, scary Sunday. And I thought the idea in and of itself, with it just being him reacting to videos, was old, but he put his spin on it. And that's what made it unique. Not to mention, you get a shout out every time he picks your video. And just getting to see the reaction with him, it made me feel like I was in the room and actually being a part of the video while he was recording. A lot of OGs on the channel might remember that I used to play video games with Facecam, and one of the other video games that I used to play along with Outlast was Little Nightmares. Little Nightmares 2 to be specific. And who else played that at the time? Corey Kenshin. He was the one that inspired me to actually go ahead and upload these type of variety gameplays. Now, of course, my content has switched since then, but it's still sad to see somebody who inspired you to do something on the channel just retire like this. The next comment from Trinity Wade says, I cried my heart out last night. Look, it, I kind of feel the same way. It's kind of like losing a family member or a brother that you've been close to for a really long time and for those of you who are ogs on the Corey kenshin channel you guys have been close with Corey or felt like you've been close with Corey for about 10 years now so i can imagine that it's pretty tough i think i'll definitely be doing the same when berlizzi starts talking about retirement because i kind of feel like that's my youtube big brother it's kind of weird too like i said in the last video it's kind of like you get to know these youtubers as more than just youtubers you get to see a lot of their personal life and their struggles and a lot of us can relate to it so i mean that's about it for today i'm gonna wrap it up here guys Corey Kenshin, if you are watching this by any chance, congratulations on 10 million subscribers, man. You deserve it. And I just hope that this is a joke about you retiring. But if you do end up retiring, have a good life, bro. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy today's video at any point, hit that like button. And if you want more content similar to this, hit that subscribe button. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers, which is insane to me. So I'd really like to hit that threshold. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Sub up, stay safe, and peace.